Hey, wait a minute, water? I should have drowned. Oh, this game, I cannot think. You're tearing me apart, Zelda. Anyway, anyone saw the room? You should totally see that with friends. Uh, I'm not kidding. I don't care that the movie is bad on every level of acting and how it's made to. Uh, you need to see that. It's a must see. I'm serious. You need to see it. Uh, you might have guessed that I already have everything I need on the on the overworld, so no hearts to get, no secret rupees, no sword, no no nothing. So yeah, I'm going to the 8th dungeon, but I'd like to show you how you're supposed to know where it's located. There's a hint somewhere on the map uh, in a, an obvious place, we've seen it before, I just haven't checked it for a hint. Now I will, and you'll see that this game can be... Uh, Cryptic? Of course, I think maybe I'd say Castlevania 2 was a bit worse in telling you how to reach your goals, but check this. Secret is in the tree at the dead end. So you see that and you don't pay too much attention to it, but that's how you're supposed to get to the 8th dungeon. Uh, I think so anyway, unless he's referring to something else. Could be, there are a couple of trees that uh, give you something. Like there was one with a lady, an old lady hidden in it. Now close to the 8th dungeon, it's right here. You use uh, as usual, let me kill, okay, you use as usual your uh, blue r red candle. It's been replaced. Burn that tree down and what do you know? 8th dungeon. I know we had a candle for quite a long time, you're not even forced to get inside any dungeon to get the blue candle, you just need enough rupees to buy it, so we might have done dungeon 8 first, but uh, do as you feel, do you, uh, as you feel, you're not supposed to do that, in theory uh, they get harder, like the last one was kinda easy because uh, I'm so strong at this point, but uh, when you think about it, I just had to beat nearly all the bosses of the game multiple times inside a single dungeon. Uh, the point is, I guess, this game is of the old school type where they didn't hold your hand at all, which can be bad in this case, but on the good side you won't ever feel like you're stuck in a linear cycle, just do what you want in the order you want, except for a couple of things, like some rooms here do need the ladder, which you get in another dungeon, and we know that we needed the raft to access one of the dungeons, those are the limits they put on you so you don't do anything to reckless. Oh my god, I'm so happy I got a clock. Now I can kill all of you without getting hit. Hey, why don't... Are you kidding me? Even when he's paralyzed, you need to hit him from the back or the side. Ah, the famed Book of Magic, the rule book worshipped by Magic the Gathering fans everywhere. No, seriously, the Book of Magic is used so that uh, Link reads magic better, maybe, or he gets better magic spell. Anyway, you remember the Magic Rod, which I don't use all that often? Now it can replace the, the Red Candle. Yeah, that's what it does. It does fire, so Red Candle was absolutely useless. If this game hasn't learned one thing, it's that you can't kill me with things I already know how to kill. Now, you see that bombs are all the most useful in these later dungeons, so I hope you got those upgrades, they're helpful. Those dark nuts? Those are not helpful. And I see how the statues who spit or throw fire energy balls can be a problem, but hopefully I got a fairy. That just vanished, so I won't get those few hearts back. I'm lucky that I had the blue ring so that I don't lose my health as fast. To show you what the Book of Magic really does, here, 
I used the magic rod and it threw fire to light the room. I got the compass, which as we know is like the least useful object in this game. As is a clock that is dropped when no enemies are on the stream. Going left. Well, and I guess the compass is not the least useful object because you know where your goal is at least. But you might not know how to reach that goal. That's what I mean by useless. Now we got ourselves a bit of variety in this room, but thankfully both the bats and the pulse voice can be killed by a single arrow each, so not too hard. We could certainly hit the Gyptos with it, but as you see, I prefer using the strongest sword in the game, just that bit better. That looks like it. Oh, I was certain I would have to face a boss like the Manhandler. But uh, no, it was only Dark Nuts. Dark Nuts everywhere! I'm sure it's someone's dream on the planet to have Dark Nuts everywhere. Oh, Goma, long time no see too. And this time not one arrow, and uh, it's a bit more aggressive. Not one arrow, not two arrow, three arrows! That's what it took. So you need to have three rupees. I have 205 arrows at this point. Spectacle Rock is an entrance to death. Ah, this game always had the most subtle ends. The last dungeon is uh, the Death Mountain Labyrinth, you see, so by entrance to death they're just throwing the funniest pun at us by saying that it's both an entrance to Death Mountain and you will probably die there. You see what they did? Yeah. Not funny, haha, -ha, funny queer. <laughs> but uh, seriously, are you kidding me? I mean, uh... Death. That won't stop Link. He's a virgin in search for a quality pussy. You can't stop a man with nothing to lose and everything to gain. Speaking of the female characters Nintendo had in their games like Princess Peach for Mario and Princess Zelda here, first uh, obvious thing you notice is that they're both princesses, but they're also serious cock teases. I'm serious, that was Zelda's character in the cartoon. Link would do everything for her and she would never even come close to liking the guy it seems. Why? My guess is because he was such a whiner, but uh, yeah, I didn't like him either. As you see, I got myself a map. This one is the Lion Labyrinth. Some part of that should be the main of the lion. Uh, I don't even know, like, is he facing left or right or looking right at me? Like, that uh, empty space up there must be an eye? I don't know how that is a lion, but I'm learning kanji is used in Japanese writing, and uh, I guess Japanese people must be better at recognizing shapes than I am, because there's far more than a thousand of them and they represent various things. We don't have this kind of training when all we learn are these 26 letters, and in French I uh, have a couple more variations like the, the E with an acute accent which makes it A instead of E but nothing like thousands of different symbols to express each word I know Of course you all know the drill right now push the block, go down and uh... Oh, there's the magical key the, the, and it has a lion head on the top Now I can kinda see what they were going for. <laughs> the dungeon actually looks more like a key than a lion. And it looks more like a lion key than a regular key, probably. A anyway, what the magical key does is, you might have guessed, now uh, you see that I have an A number of keys. Like where the key symbol is, it's A. That's not a number, I know, but... Uh, it's an old game, and an A number is their way of saying way more than the game can calculate, and it does in fact represent infinite in this case. So now that we have reached nearly the end of the game, I get rupees, and even though there are still a couple of keys to collect in what's remaining, I could theoretically just not care since I have all the keys I need for the rest of my life, but uh, I will still get those keys for maybe those of you who just want to know or don't get the magical key, I don't see why you wouldn't, but 
that's how it is. And uh, having this magical key is how Link becomes a bandit entering in other people's homes and stealing their stuff since he can enter in any door. But that's for the sequel to this game and that's for another time. For now, let's just go to the right, which will be a cul-de-sac, and uh, yeah, I think we found the way to get to that annoying red flashing thing on the left, by going downstairs and going left. Let me just kill them first, as soon as I get yeah my sword. Okay, now going down those mystical stairs. The thing with those is that they're not supposed to kill you, they're just there to make you a tiny bit weaker, like removing an heart or so. The pussy who calls himself a boss can kill an already weakened Link. Not fair, man. And you see there's a key right there, just after I got myself a magical key. It does nothing. It's like infinite plus one, or as I call it in my book, more of the same. And here we have another key! Like, was the magical key even supposed to be in this dungeon? Or was it a last minute decision? This sure will remove more hearts than the keys. And I got a key, which I could have just not cared. Ten Ten Me has the bomb. Yeah, what he means is, bump the hell out of this place. That's what he means. You see, there's a secret. Probably didn't expect that, and didn't expect a four-headed Gliok. Now, that one can be a bit hard. He's not necessarily a pussy like I just called him earlier, like with all those heads floating. If you don't have enough art, skill, and uh, the strongest sword, it will be hard. But you should have all of that. And the final piece of the Triforce, all 16 pieces of heart, were ready to kill Ganon. 